Brace yourselves, warriors, because the Wandering White is about to test every ounce of your skill in Black Myth Wukong. This hulking brute, looking like something straight out of your worst nightmares with a head that could rival a boulder, is as formidable as he is terrifying. You'll encounter the Wandering White in the Black Wind Mountain region, wandering through the Forest of Wolves. Now, you might be tempted to sneak past him, especially when the game turns you into a cicada, but trust me, taking him down is well worth the risk. Not only will you earn a powerful spirit transformation, but you'll also prove you can handle whatever this game throws your way. Now let's talk strategy. The Wandering White isn't just big, he's deadly. His hits are heavy, and his attacks are relentless. If you faced the Bullguard earlier, you're in for a shock because this guy makes the bull guard look like a warm up. If you're feeling underpowered, it might be wise to wait until you've beefed up your skills and gear. But if you're eager to dive into the fray, here's what you need to know. Kick things off with a heavy attack from your smash stance before he even knows you're there. If you've got a focus point, you'll stagger him right out of the gate, opening up the chance for a quick combo that could score you another focus point. Follow up with Immobilize to keep him on the ropes, or if you're lucky, that initial heavy hit might knock him flat on his back, giving you a precious few seconds to plan your next move. But don't get cocky. His melee attacks are brutal, and they come in fast combos that can catch you off guard. Watch for his arms, swings, and stomps, which, although telegraphed, are still deadly if you're not on your toes. His charging hand clap in particular can wipe out a big chunk of your health if you're caught off guard, so keep your gourd handy for quick healing. The Wandering White also likes to mix things up with some nasty AoE attacks. When he slams those massive arms down, the ground around him erupts in a glowing quake that can knock you off your feet if you're too close. Be ready for a follow-up quake, too. Don't rush in too soon thinking the coast is clear. His AoE blasts get progressively more dangerous, so when he starts charging them up, your best bet is to back off and wait for your moment. Mana management is crucial here. Save your Immobilize for when he's mid-combo. It can give you just the opening you need to turn the tide. Heavy attacks are your best bet to stagger him, so prioritize those whenever you see an opportunity. Oh, and if you pre-ordered the game, make sure you've got your bonus gear equipped. The Bronze Cloud Staff and Folk Opera Armor Set could give you just the edge you need in this fight. Taking down the Wandering White rewards you with some serious loot. 1049 XP, 7 and 61 Will, 3 Yarn, Cat's Eye Beads to boost your critical hit chances, and the rare Blood of the Iron Bull crafting material. Plus, you'll get his Spirit, which unlocks a powerful transformation attack, perfect for staggering even the toughest foes and boosting your defenses. Just remember, if you're taking him on early, you might need to wait until later in Chapter 1 to actually absorb that spirit. With the Wandering White defeated, you'll be ready for the even tougher battles that lie ahead. Black Myth, Wukong isn't going to go easy on you, but if you can beat this guy, you're on the right path. If you found this guide helpful, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and stay tuned for more tips and strategies to conquer your journey in Black Myth, Wukong.